Okay, well, um, I'm very sick and very bored, so what better time, oh my god, unroll, uh, to show off my weird vintage shirt collection. I don't know why I'm doing this, um, I need help. So, um, here's a Nine Inch Nails, this is the first one, like these are going to be chronological order to um, the time I got them, like th this is the first one I got. Uh, I got this in Houston at this like retro place and paid way too much, but uh, it's still cool. It's got holes in it. It's got a really weird uh, neck fit and also holes. Uh, so you know, pretty distressed. It looks pretty good, but like the print on here is really nice looking and super vibrant. And I love nine inch nails. Um, this is further down the spiral. Some sort of tour in '95. There's some like I don't know bleach spots there or something. Um, but uh, with rolled up sleeves, it looks pretty cool. Um, I like that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rest are going to be video game themed because I went on Rampage on eBay. Because, again, very bored. Um, Conker's Bad Fur Day. The, this one is actually in the wrong spot. I got... Oh, my God. I need to reorganize this. I thought I organized it. Okay. I got this one first, actually. Uh, which I believe came in Conker's Bad for Day sort of press kit, or I forgot if like game store owners got it for ordering the game. I don't know. It was something. It was like a big uh, combo. Um, and obviously, I can't afford that big uh, press kit. I think it would only show up really on uh, Nintendo Age or eBay for thousands of dollars. But this shirt was uh, not that bad of a price. Um, I forget how much I paid. Again, this is all kind of expensive and stupid, so don't do it. Um, it's like a large... A lot of these older things are like one size fits all. Um, large or extra large, so I can get fat if I want to. Uh, this one is just dope. I, I love the Bad Fur Day logo. I'm very nostalgic for it. Um, actually, the first time I played it was on emulator when I was really young. I wasn't allowed to play such a game. Uh, I do own a copy now. Oh, Ninpro. So, I don't know where this came from, but it's pretty cool. Again, uh, same, same, uh, size and stuff. Uh, this is where it gets really crazy. The all-over print DK. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a new old stock. It's, I don't believe this has ever been worn. Uh, it's fucking dope as hell. Again... Donkey Kong Country, probably my favorite um, Super Nintendo game. So I had to own it. And then, unfortunately for my, you know, bank account, I had discovered that there was another um, all-over print with a big monkey go ooh, 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 um, Donkey Kong face on it. Uh, so I had to get that as well. And it says he's back. Um, the printing looks a little faded, I guess, but it seems like all the ones I've come across are that way, so that might just be how it is. But look, like, what the hell? Another great game from Rare. That's not what I've heard, actually. I've never played DK64 yet. Um, but it's just an unbelievable nightmare of a shirt. Like, like, like damn, dude. You wear this. Expand Dawn, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. And then the final one, I think I posted everything but this one on Twitter already. Um, a new old stock episode one racer with, come on, Sebulba on it, being like he do. Um, he's pretty fucking epic. Uh, you know, nice look at his arts. This is new old stock, so it's super crisp. Um, but any shirt that has an N64 logo on it and it's like vintage, I'm kind of into it. Jerseys, XL, I can get fat. Cool. Um, so that was my tour so far. Uh, I only have one more item coming because I did all this and then I'm like, uh, honestly, this is a bad idea and what am I doing with my life? Um, but I do have one, I kind of want a jacket because I have a rain jacket coming, uh, and that's going to be really cool. Um, but I would like just an all-purpose jacket. And then that'll be it. I will get it out of my system, I hope, help. 